guess I want to have a part two. <clears throat> I don't know why the video stopped. So anyway, we're talking about walking down out in the country and how it's, it's benefits versus just going, oh, there's Jack. He didn't even hear me. Oh, now he heard me. Oh, I gotta go say hi to Jack. Hey, Jack. Gotta go say hi to him. Puppy dog. How you doing there, puppy dog? Yeah, you're a good dog. You're a good puppy dog. He's barking, but he's got that tail wagging. I don't want to entice him out here on the road. I don't want him to get in the habit of getting on the road. But he's come out to see me a few times. Give me advantage of having nice puppy dogs in the neighborhood. So I'm out here in the sun, producing my vitamin D. And during the winter, I'll take supplements of it, or if it's a cloudy day. Vitamin D is important in many things. Immune health, uh, absorption of calcium, absorption of vitamin K. So very many benefits of vitamin D to your skin. And I have done a lot of series on vitamins. And in my opinion, and there's a lot of studies that back this up. Uh, vitamins and minerals and natural supplements are a real key to health. Uh, I know that since I've really gotten the kick of taking them, I no longer need prescription drugs. And that's a huge benefit. Some people say, well, you know, what you're not spending prescription drugs, you know, you're spending vitamins and minerals and supplements. And this is true. I would agree with that. <clears throat> it costs money to stay healthy, unfortunately. Uh, healthy food is more expensive than junk food. You know, you can buy far more calories in food that's terrible for you than you can in food that's good for you. And that's why people who eat a lot of junk food tend to have a weight problem. Now, if you're a young kid and you got a metabolism that won't shut down, like I did, sometimes it's not a problem, but people who eat healthy food, on an average, tend not have a weight problem. Or even if they are overweight, they're still far more healthy. As you can be. And don't refer to those charts on the internet. In my opinion, they are ridiculous. Want me at six foot four, a lot of muscle frames want me to weigh down like 167 185. Not gonna happen. Not at this age, and it shouldn't. I did a uh, physical last year, and of course, the doctor looked at all the data before he seen me. When I walked in, he was like, Wow, you're big. I go, Okay. He goes, Well, no, I was gonna have a Discussion. Yeah, you don't think Jack's following me, is he? No. I was going to have a discussion with you about being a beast. I said, well, in the gym, they say, I'm a beast. <laughs> but he said, I can tell you're very muscular and you're really, your weight's not that too far off. I think at the time I was around 242. He asked me maybe if I could drop another 10 pounds. I said, well, I can, and I have done it in the past. But number one, I lose a lot of strength on the upper end. And the wife thinks I'm too skinny at that weight. Now, currently, I have been eating very clean out of the garden. Like, right around 240, 239. But that's because I can get all these healthy exercises. So, garbage in, garbage out, good food in, good things happen to you. So, meats, 
eggs. The incredible edible egg. Best thing for you. Those are the things that you want to be concentrating on. You know, milk, and if you're lactose intolerant, there are milks out there for a life milk that you can drink. Now, there's a lot of different opinions about milk. Personally, I think it helps strong bones and teeth, but you can take calcium supplements and D supplements and do the same thing. It's just whatever you're comfortable with. Let's see if I can sneak up on the turtles. I did a drive-by yesterday. I was able to get four of them. So let's zoom in out. And we'll stealthily try to catch them. I don't know if they'll be out yet. Wow. Ooh, birds. Water birds. Hopefully I caught them. I don't see him. Something was up there towards the surface. But yesterday I did catch four of them on here. It's pretty cool. Let's see maybe if the turtle's off. The turtle probably not on the side now after those birds took off. They kind of key on each, each other. Oh, dove. So well, anyhow, it's my morning stroll, getting my walk in, and this is benefits of this, gets the blood moving, gets the joints moving, which it's a, it's a low impact exercise, so meaning that if you do it right, because I'm not running, you're not, not messing up any of your, your joints, but you're actually making them stronger. So remember, an object at rest stays at rest. An object in motion stays in motion. Enjoy this so much. Can't beat the benefits. Visual. Because a lot of the stuff I see out and about is that out and about. But you know, different times of the day or night, you'll see different types of wildlife. Like the cardinal earlier. That's usually something I don't see later in the day, but evidently it likes to hang around in the morning. The butterflies are just now starting to wake up. I can see the yellow ones out in the field out there. The white ones. And then later on, the monarch butterflies will be out there in thick and force. That's so kind of funny, here's this big guy talking about butterflies. Hey, you gotta enjoy the lovely show Mother Nature gives you. And of course we have the assholes that throw their beer cans out on the road. But I think they're paying like 40, 45 cents a pound now, so it's, it's getting to the point where it's almost worthwhile again. But yeah, I will tend to go on these hikes and pick up the cans just to, well, dad, if you want to clean up the planet, start with your yard and start with your street and start with your own habits. I don't throw trash out the window. It's too easy just to keep a paper bag in there. And then when you, next time you make a pit stop, that's when you utilize it. Here, Kai comes with my donators right now. 
Here I got this can in my hand. I was like, oh man, look at it. Out there drinking. So get out and get active. Get out in the sun, enjoy it. These are things that you want to do to make life more enjoyable. Also allows you to kind of know what's going on with everything. Here we go. Got the neighbor's puppies again. How you doing, puppy dogs? I know. How are we doing? I'll come and say hi to you later. I got things I got to get done. Yep, I'll say hi to you guys later. Oh man. I could I could do this all day. Yeah, I hope I didn't have to do those nasty things like work and other things. They require to. So today I think it's gonna be around the household day. <coughs> Oh yeah, they got squash in the field. I don't know if they planted it or they just threw it out there and it ended up growing. It's funny because the cows eat around it, but they don't eat the squash. So you got those squash plants just growing natural. And the cattle doesn't mess with it. It's pretty cool. It kind of tells you if I ever did raise beef, <coughs> I can put my squash plants out there. Here's my weed control and my fertilizer. All taken care of in one. Remember, get out and walk outdoors if you can't walk. Maybe take a drive in the park. Walk to, walk to trails in the parks. You know, you might want to get a group and do that. I know in the winter, a lot of people walk at the armory, the streeter, and they just ask you to put a dollar in the box for pay for electricity and the heat. And it was always popular in the malls. During weather like this, like there be no building, go outside, enjoy it. You know, learn what's around you. And always remember, rest, nutrition, and proper exercise. Everybody, it's hump day. Have a wonderful day.